Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a three-month look ahead. So where will you be three months from now? So this is three months from now. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. Okay, this reading may or may not be for you. This is like a prediction. Three months from the day that you watch it, we're just going to see what gets, what comes out. Let's start right here. What do we got for Cancer? Three months from now. Three months from the day that they watch it. Intuition. Now this is the High Priestess. So where do you think you're going to be in three months from now? Because that's a pretty good inclination of where you're going to be. I think your intuition is probably spot on. Whatever you think is where you're going to be by the looks of things. You may be going through a spiritual awakening right now as well. Your your intuition um, may be uh, deepening. Okay. I feel like, I mean, the, this, uh, this is uh, enlightenment. Highly enlightened. Highly spiritual. Um... Highly developed, highly developed intuition three months from now. Maybe this, this time of isolation is probably serving you very well. Um, now, this is the high priestess is very reflective so and receptive. So it looks as though you're going to be uh, increasing your psychic abilities by the looks of things. Let's get one of these. You could also be dealing with this person. You may be, because this is a healer, this is a, a tarot reader, a psychic medium, um, or just a plain psychic. This is somebody who is very spiritual. So I'm not sure if this person is coming into your life or this is who you are becoming. Okay, so you may be dealing with this person. Um or you're becoming this person. Wherever this person is, they are highly intuitive and they are gifted. This is a gifted individual. Blessed with a gift. One card, please. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Three of Cups is celebrating, socializing, having fun, getting together, um, talking. Yeah, I think that you're going to be getting get, getting together with somebody and having a good time. That's for darn sure. This is celebrating. Laughing, having fun. In three months from now, you're going to be having fun with somebody. You are. Let's get a couple of these. You may meet this person at a restaurant, maybe a coffee shop. Um, yeah, it feels like you're at a coffee shop or a restaurant or something like that. And you just hit it off with this person. You hit it off really, really good with this person. <laughs> could doesn't have to be a restaurant. It could be someplace else. It could be any or a coffee shop. It could be even on social media. Okay. But it feels like you're being served something. You're being served, looks like coffee or drinks, or it could even be a bar, or whatever, or a restaurant, whatever. So you're gonna, it's like you meet this person and you'd click. You just click with this person. Um, that's one. Let's get a couple. One more. <laughs> there they are. Things happen fast. Things are definitely going to happen fast. Fire. Strong emotion. Passionate love or hate. I think it's love. I think you're going to feel it strongly. I think you're going to feel it. It's going to be instant. I think there's going to be some sort of instant emotion, instant attraction with this person. You're going to feel it. This is a reception. You're going to feel their energy very quickly. You're, and I think it's there's a, there could be even like telepathic communication with this person. 
yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. This isn't like the other tower. It's not cracked. You're, you may be building or solidifying a foundation with somebody, but you have been feeling tied down or frustrated. Or, you know, maybe you are tied down. Maybe you're tied down to your job. Or you're tied down to a to a place where that is away because this could be some somebody could be at a distance okay and maybe that makes you frustrated maybe you've met somebody and they're at a distance and you get really frustrated okay but there's an opportunity to build the foundation someplace else there is but it may take a lot of effort anyway i feel as though there's going to be some sort of of strong emotion for another person. This is a very, the, the high priestess is very feeling. Okay, like I said, receptive and reflective. So there's going to be some sort of uh, feelings developing with somebody. Okay, there is. So what do we got for cancer? Seven of cups. Now this is a level of confusion, choices. Um, unsure, you're going to be presented with a choice. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Choose wisely. There's an opportunity for romance. There's an opportunity for riches. There's an opportunity to stay put. There's an opportunity to follow your intuition. Um, choose wisely. It looks as though you um, are going to be presented with a choice in which you may be confused. You may be confused. This is a difficult decision. So yeah, you're going to be presented with a decision. Knight of Swords reversed. And the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're getting an, op an offer or an opportunity for, for love, okay? And I think this that you're going to have to... You may have to um, do something that... You never considered in the past. It's like you got this big, huge opportunity for love. It feels really, really, really good. But in order to grab on to it, you probably know that you're going to have to uh, go down a different road. That's the way I feel. It's like you're going to have to let something go. That seven of cups. You can't have it all. You can't have both. Okay? You can't have everything. you can, you got to make a choice. Okay? Um, and this choice is between, and maybe it feels like for some of you, moving is in the picture. You may have to move. And I don't, I just feel that strongly. Um, something has happened suddenly. I feel like it's happened very suddenly. You weren't in any rush. You weren't in any hurry. And all of a sudden you have to make some sort of choice. All of a sudden it's right in front of you and you are interested in it. You weren't looking for it. You were doing your own thing and all. This just happens. So I feel like that's pretty prominent for you. Yeah. So the Page of Swords. This is curiosity. This is curiosity. I think you're going to be very curious um, as to whatever this is offered to you. This, this gets presented to you. This big opportunity for love. And you probably will be... Maybe you have your guard up. Maybe you feel like you want to give this a chance, but you're a little afraid of it. Maybe you feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to do some sort of research. I think you're going to be presented with a, a, a choice that makes you feel uncomfortable, even though you want it. I think you really, 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 really want it. Um, you may have to deliver a message to somebody that you don't want to deliver because this is a message somebody doesn't want to hear, okay? Somebody may be getting a message that they don't want to hear because maybe you make another choice, okay? You choose a different route. You choose another option. That's what it looks like to me. I think in the past, you were just doing your own thing. You weren't looking. You know, you were protecting yourself. You may have been in self-protection mode. Maybe you were doing that subconsciously. I feel as though you... Uh, Maybe guarded. In the past, you were guarded. You didn't want to let anybody in. But this, all of a sudden, I feel like this is very sudden. And this fire would say that all of a sudden there's some sort of passion that ignites or emotion that ignites with somebody. And it throws you off guard. It does. I feel like it throws you off guard. Um, whew. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now, this is this is not, there's commitment issues here. Both of these are about marriage and commitment. They're both reversed. I remember we saw that tower. 
you may be fearful because the Knight of Swords reversed is fearful of commitment or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody may be fearful of commitment. This is fearful. There definitely is an opportunity for love that has made you curious, right? It has made you curious. Why has this happened? You definitely have to make a choice. I think that you've been protecting yourself or so the person that you're dealing with has. This is protection. This isn't what I asked for. I wasn't looking for this. That's what I feel like this is. I wasn't looking for this, but here it is. Here it is. Um, now, it's funny. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Somebody may be tied down to a commitment. It could be a job. Okay, I think it for some of you it's a job. It could be a, a previous commitment too. It could be a previous marriage and they want to get out of it. They need to get out of it, you know? So I, I, there is somebody here that is in, in a frustrating situation where it's like they're trapped. They're trapped in this situation. Now they got this connection that is, is just uh, really sparked their curiosity, right? This is This is like, where did this come from, you know? And you probably have some sort of loyalty to the other option, right? There's some sort of loyalty and you may be, you know, unsure of what you, definitely unsure of what you want to do. Uh, there is a commitment that you have been in uh, that isn't making any progress. It's not making any progress. It's not going anywhere. There's no success. There is... Um, No staying power, per se. It's like there's no reason to stay there. There's no passion. You may be in a passionless uh, commitment out right now. Okay? you may, And that could be with job or, or a marriage or a relationship. It's passionless. But you're staying there because maybe it's fear. Maybe you don't want to be disgraced. Maybe you're worried about what everybody else is going to say. Um, but you are definitely presented with a new option this month. And that's three months from now. I think that um, there is definitely something exciting being presented to you. This is exciting. This is very attractive. Um, I think that you, you see something. You see something that you really, really, really want. This is like a new adventure. Um, and I feel like you are determined. You're determined to uh, make the right decision. I think you've been having a hard time. You want to make the right decision. That's that's why this. That's why you're feeling tied down or frustrated. You know, you want to do the right thing. This is about nobility. It's like you really... I do feel like you're going to move, though. You're going to move. In the end, you're going to end up moving forward. You're going to find your strength. You're going to find your courage. I feel like uh, you are dealing with somebody that has come into your life suddenly. And you are in some previous sort of commitment, whether it's with a job or with a relationship. And you're tied to it. You're very frustrated with it. You want to move, but there's some sort of fear. But I feel like you are going to make that move and you are going to uh, find your courage to do so. Whoever has entered your life suddenly has really striked your fancy. Put it that way. This person, um, you're very attracted to them. It's like the moth to the flame kind of thing. You know, it's like you just... Uh, you can't get them out of your thoughts. You can't get them out of your head. It's like, I don't know why this happened, but I know I have to go this direction. I know that I have to. So I feel like there, there could be a breakup. There could be a split. There could be leaving behind an old establishment because, and I think you're going to be leaving, you're definitely going to be leaving something behind that has been troubling you for quite some time. Okay. I think you're going to be moving. You may be moving, uh, you know, over a body of water. You're moving to another place. I think you've been really reluctant or you will be reluctant at first. First, but you're, this is what, uh, it feels like this is what you're being told to do. This is what your gut, your intuition is being told to do. Whoever you are dealing with is very, um, oh, passionate, right? You, you feel a lot of passionate. You feel a lot of passion for them. You feel a lot of attraction. It's like you're being pulled towards this person. So that's the way I feel about that. Um, let's get a couple more cards. 
Ooh, and please, this is going over here. Um, there will be communication. There's going to be things are going to happen fast, which I knew they were going to. Things are going to happen fast. This is reluctant to take a new approach, reluctant to move on. You get this opportunity. Things happen really fast. All of a sudden, your curiosity is sparked. You know you're going to have to deliver a direct, truthful message to somebody that tells them that you want to go. And I think that's the hardest point here. I think it's a hard, hard um, situation to be in. You have to choose. You have to choose. You definitely have to choose. And I think that you're going to be sitting on the fence because this is a painful choice. It is a painful choice. It's a stressful decision. And I feel like uh, there's there's going to be a uh, split, okay, with the Four of Wands reversed and the Hierophant reversed. It's like this is a relationship that isn't on the same page. I feel like you've been under somebody else's control. You've been under a lot of social pressure to stay put where you're at. But and I think you've been you may have been doing the opposite of what you want, but I feel like you're going to make the strain the the stressful, painful decision to uh move in another direction that you were reluctant to do. I think that you were reluctant. You are reluctant because of the social pressure. Most of this is social pressure. So this is this is social pressure right here to stay in this commitment. You know, there could be a level of embarrassment here. You know, I did this and there's, you know, now I now I don't want it anymore. We all make mistakes, so just chalk it up to a lesson learned. I think that you are going to run into somebody uh suddenly that uh, really sparks your interest and you feel this deep, 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 deep connection with them instantly and there's nothing you can do but to uh, do whatever it takes to be a part of that person's life. So I feel like that is what this is. I think you're going to be building a foundation in a new place and you're going to be leaving behind an old foundation that just doesn't bring you happiness anymore. Okay, that's what I see in three months from now. I think you've been tied down, frustrated to a situation that uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of love there. Okay, it doesn't. You've been missing out on love. You've been missing out on emotional uh, happiness. And I think you're, you're going you're gonna to run into somebody that's, that make, gives you butterflies. Okay, and that's what I got. Good luck.